Today we're going to learn how to connect our Chromebooks to the internet using our Wi-Fi. And then we're going to sign in for the first time using our temporary password and then change that password to a new one. Some things you'll need are your Chromebook. It may not be charged. Make sure that you have your charger available so that you can plug it in if need be. And the internet. You will need some form of wireless internet in your home. This may come from the same wireless internet that you already use, or it may be a hotspot. Either way, this is all you'll need to get this done. Now that we have our Chromebook turned on and we know that we have internet nearby, we're going to look at the list and see which one of these is our wireless network. For me, it's the one right here. Once I click on my wireless network, it's going to ask me to put in the password. So you'll need the password for your Wi-Fi network. Um, if you have a hotspot, that'll be provided for you. If this is your Wi-Fi network at home, um, use the one that you would use to connect to anything else. So I'm going to type in my password and hit connect. If I typed in my password properly, it'll say connected, and then it'll bring me to this page. Once I've gotten to this page, I can look down in the bottom right hand corner and right here, you can see where I'm connected to my wireless network. So now that I'm connected, I can use my Google login to sign into my Chromebook. Since this is the first time you're signing in, after you sign in, you're going to be asked to create a new password. But for now, Let's use our login. And then we're going to enter that temporary password that is on that sheet of paper. If you have any questions about whether or not you typed it incorrectly, you can always click this little show password button here. It'll take away the dots. It'll show you your password and you can verify that you typed it incorrectly. Once you have your password typed in, you're going to hit next. So now that we put in the temporary password properly, we're going to create a new password for ourselves. It has to be at least eight characters long. You have to use upper and lowercase letters and a number or symbol. It's very important that you don't share your password with others. Try to make it something that you can remember but that somebody else wouldn't be able to guess. Once you came up with a good password, now you're going to have to confirm it by typing it in again. Once again, we can use the show password button to double check our work and make sure that our password's what we want it to be. And then we're gonna hit next. Now that you created your new password, you're logged into your Chromebook and ready to start learning.